Okay, so this is what's in a speed glass from KSL. So it doesn't have everything, but it has most everything. This is kind of an extra. Got it on Amazon. It kind of goes to it, so it's a shroud and, and just goes on the helmet. There's the loops right here. And then this goes on the the circle tightener thing. So that's that. The new one might come with these, but these are extra filters um, I got just for the person I'm going to sell it to because I have a Miller um, T94i-R. So these are filters. These are replacement lenses. It comes in a pack of 10. I'm going to count it and be sure. One, two, three. Okay, I counted 8, but the package says 10, so they, they're probably just blending in 10 in the package. So there's the actual helmet. The lens needs to be replaced, um, so that's why I have these right here. So, also there's this, the blower portion, and the helmet portion, the hood, so, anyway, so it goes, swivels down and up, and then it also has the retractable welding lens, where there would be a grinding lens, but... I didn't replace it. I had one to start with and it got really scratched and dirty and to save money then I just replaced the welding passive lenses instead of replacing both the grinding lens and the welding passive lens. Here's the inside. So on to the close look. Here's the inside, it has that cloth piece that's supposed to help seal the inside, but it's missing the full seal, the velcro and everything. But, so that cloth piece came with the shroud that I showed you guys earlier. Um, I couldn't find the model number. Otherwise, I would have gotten it, so uh, the next uh, user could just get that cell and go from there. Also, there is the charger for the battery, and I'll show you the battery in just a minute. So this is the plug. That's how it looks. It might be backwards because I'm using front-facing camera because... I'm not sure how to get a um, a non-backwards without getting a flip screen camera and I don't have one of those right now. Um, if you want to see the actual words and letters and numbers, I'll put up close one more time. I think that's readable. Alright, that's the plug. If you're interested, then this is how the plug goes that goes into the battery. So that's how it looks. If you want an up close look, that's how it looks. Um, so to replace the lens, this is kind of scratched and stuff, but you just pull this off, pull the lens off, put the new one on. into those brackets. 
put the cover back on. It's kind of interesting, so I have to push on. You have to have it go in on the top side, and then push on one side. And sometimes both sides, but this time just one side. So, um, I'll hurry and show you the bag. So, this is the bag. It's kind of empty. Yeah, kind of empty. Here's a cool picture. Um, so, I can show you, so the blower, the hose um, is detachable, it just comes off. Let's see if I can get that over it. it comes off like this, it's detachable from the blower and from the helmet. So, I'll show you this side real quick. It just comes off just like that and comes back on the same way. The battery is mostly charged, so there's an on and off button. See up close, there's on and off button. There's not a high and low setting, it's just only high airflow setting because there's just on and off, no high low setting. So the battery is mostly charged, so I could turn it on right now. And so this is how it works. Turns on. So it has two bars on the battery. And then these two dots tell if either, I think it's just the filter actually. It just says if the filter is full and it needs blown off. If the filter's full and needs blown off, then it'll be all the way to this side. And then sometimes it'll need blown off with either four dots or maybe three dots. But that's just how the filter works. It might be kind of a battery indicator, but maybe just the filter. And this is the off button. So hold it down to turn it off, hold the on button down to turn it on. It also has some indicator green lights right here. I didn't get this with the owner's manual, so I'm not all the way sure what all the indicators are, but it could be maybe high-low setting. It's not doing anything, so I'd say it's just only high setting. So I'm going to turn it off. Um, it has a leather belt. So 100% leather is burn resistant, fire resistant. Um, real quick, show you the filter. This is the filter. It is a little used, so the, this filter is going to be a little dirty. Um, the, it has a pre-filter right here, and then a spark arrestor, this metal um, shoes cloth type thing. You'd probably blow it off maybe once a day if you're using it all the time. And then, I'm not sure how often you change the pre-filter and the filter. But just like if the filter breaks, probably change it out. It most likely won't, but if you're blowing it off with too much air pressure. And then the pre-filter, I'm not sure exactly when you need to replace it, just if it gets too much dirt on and the dirt starts to stick. Um, you could try throwing it in the washer, but um, I know the filter won't last in the washer, but the pre-filter might, because I've tried it before. Um, so this is how it looks. I can try turning it on real quick, and you can see the spinning centerpiece. Um, the 
battery. I got this used, so it might come with two batteries. Um, so this one only came with one battery. Um, just check uh, what it would include when you get it used and or when you get it new and see what it comes with. This one might only come with one battery because it's a bigger battery than my Miller. The Miller comes with two batteries, but it's smaller. Um, so this battery will last maybe eight to 10 hours. My Miller battery will last five, six hours on high and then on low, then it would last eight to 10 hours. Uh, if you want to see the battery up close, just for the model number, if you want to, if you want to get one. And if that was too blurry, then you could just Google um, 3M speed glass ad flow PAPR welding helmet and it should pull up the model that you need. Um, so if you want to see this up close, there's just how it looks, the layout, and then the model number sticker. that's how it works um, I've gone over all the uh, the product um, brand new you would get a little more stuff so you could get a used one and hopefully it'll have all the supplies or or get brand new and you'd have everything and you wouldn't have to look for model numbers and replacements until further on when you need to replace your filter or one of the other consumables. Maybe the battery, but maybe the filter just whichever you need, like um, replacement lenses. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.